try to pick the right opening <laughs> to, to show the examples from. But it's a very good question. All right, here. Maybe I'm going to get to play an Evans Gambit. Oh. All right, what do I do if I play here? Play D4. And I might even be able to get the Knackmanson Gambit. Do you guys know it? Do you guys know the Knackmanson Gambit? Thank you, Teox, for the follow. The Knackmanson Gambit, offering my knight. If you take it, I take on F7. And I follow it up with queen to D5. So, regular viewers, they all know I do like going in for this nonsense. I'm down seven points. But I am on the attack. No one has played the computer move yet, which is uh, king to f6. Everybody goes back. You have to play rook e1. Don't take it with a queen. They block with their bishop. Rook to e1. If he blocks, I take the knight. I bring in the bishop. I bring in my other rook. It's a simple, simple attack. This is it. This is the Knackmanson Gambit. I've been having a lot of success, and you can see this guy, it's, it's very difficult. This is the funniest Gambit. It is, it's very scary. It's very risky. I don't know. If I were black, I would be terrified. <laughs> hey, Gorbla. How's it going? Thank you for the follow. And it's easy. Bishop g5, rook to e1. Those are the moves. Easy to play. I am trying to crush J. Sorrel. I did play a very, very insane game with this against a viewer today. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is it, guys. This is it. This is it. This is the move, right? Boop. 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 Bishop H6. Bishop H6. Boop. Got him. We got him. Boop. 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 Got him. We got him. I should be accused of cheating. I have to. Problem is, I have videographic proof that I did analyze this earlier today. I better upload it to YouTube now. It is uploaded, actually. I should publish. I need to publish. Quick, before I get accused of cheating. This was analyzed earlier. And, yeah. Analyzing is not cheating. If you do it before the game. Corbla with the 100 bits. Thank you very much. So, yeah, my opponent's down to 40 seconds. And I have not thought once. And I am completely winning. Nothing. There's nothing here. Black is toasted. And it just goes to show the mega power of the Knackmanson Gambit. Hasn't caught on yet. People do not know about it. Um, so now I have to actually think for the first time. But I'm so incredibly winning. I can take the rook, though. I can take the bishop. I know I'm winning, but what? what how do I do it? The rook is worth five points. The bishop is worth three. Give me that guy. And I win! Nackmanson Gambit wins again! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, I love this opening so much! 15 mover, all prep, first decision I had to make, win the game. So, yeah! Yeah, boxers in the house. Check this one out, guys. <laughs> Check this one out. Mr. Pubzilla, thanks for the bits. Uh, what's the spelling? Uh, let me type it into the chat. It is N-A-K-H-M-A-N-S-O-N -N Gambit. Nackmanson Gambit. Uh, and here is how you do it. In this opening, yeah, I like to play D4 here. We're kind of transposing into a lot of lines. There's a lot of these lines. You can play this whether you play the Italian, whether you play the Bishop's opening like I do, whether you play the, the uh, Scotch Gambit. Um, without playing an early e5. A lot of different lines will transpose to this. You don't have to start with bishop to c7. It's just my preference because I am hoping, hoping, hoping that I get to play an Urusoft Gambit. But they are so rare these days. Nobody ever accepts this. But a lot of these lines, I get this all the time. I get this line. Every time there's an e5, it's almost always a Nackmanson Gambit. And I just win every single time. 
I win all these games. I play people that are higher rated than me, and I'm I'm either I've been keeping track, saving all the games. I'm either eight and a half out of nine or nine and a half out of ten with this. I score tremendously well. So yeah, ask people to play it. Don't tell too many people. Uh, at some point, I'm not going to be able to win a game. People are going to look this up. Don't trust the computer at this depth. Uh, you have to run this with a with a bigger, better computer. The big important thing to know here is rookie one has to be played. Don't take with the queen. But yeah, and here it was. I played this earlier today. I played somebody, and I'm going to put that game up on YouTube. I might even put this game up on YouTube just to show you how sweet it is. Uh, H6, somebody, a viewer played this against me. It's going to go up on YouTube probably tomorrow. And that's where I saw. I didn't play it. The computer taught me to it. But now I know it. I said, next time somebody plays H6, I'm going to snap it off. The big idea, he took with a pawn. If you take with a rook, boop, mate and one. Mate and one. So, yeah, here's the link to my YouTube channel. Check it out, guys. Um, and, yeah, if you take with a pawn... It's queen h5, and yeah, I had already taken a look. This was just my, my analysis here. Um, d5 is actually the very best try here. I had to think once for my own, and I actually made the right decision. So that's very good. Um, the best try is d5, but this simply, I'm, I'm just going to take here, right? <laughs> I'm going to play b4. b4 would really show him that you're in charge. Um, and... What if you don't take the bishop? Actually, everyone never never thought about that. Um, <laughs> wait, rookie one. Oh, rookie one is sweet. Oh, I'll play rookie one. For sure, if they played d5, I'd play rookie one. Your king can't go anywhere, and now I take here. Rookie one is sweet. Rookie one is sweet. Rookie one for sure. Yeah, if this makes its way onto YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Please hit like, share, subscribe. And if you ever get some huge wins in the Nackmanson Gambit, let me know in the comments below.